All right, guys, I'm just headed out to my old beat up garage here. I'm gonna start tackling the job I've been putting off, which is I've gotta empty all the crap out of this old garage, all the garbage and junk and everything here. I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what, I'm, what I've been working with for the last couple of days here. Okay, so here's the garage where it sits right now. I've got two out of the three main beams cut uh, down at the uh, local wood yard here. I got a guy I know, and so these are 21 feet long. Uh, the garage is 22 feet. I've got another beam for the middle that's got to come in, two cross ones, and then I've got three more eight footers that poke out the back because I'm going to build a new little deck off of that. So what I got to start doing, because my uncle's going to be here to help me in a couple days, uh, this will probably be a three-week project, I'm not sure, but we are going to tear this garage down step by step, take the tin off, take all the rafters out, the walls. We're going to reassess everything and we're going to rebuild it on top of this. Thank you for coming through, spirits, joining us today. I want to talk about the treasures I found in the garage. But I'm going to start today by tearing off those two big green doors. I'm going to start going through all the junk inside. Maybe I'll show you the junk that's inside so we can get a before and an after. I have several videos with me rooting around in here already, but I'm not sure what order they're going to go up. Ugh. You can see everything's just rotten on the doors. So I will be replacing these green doors with a regular roll-up door. Okay, so look, it's all just full of junk. There are a couple things in here that are mine. Uh, so this table saw is good, and then the couple of desks I had just you know storage for my old graduate used to have another shelf in the back and then some of these boxes I don't even know what's in them right now it's a lot of junk but if it can be recycled it I'll recycle it if it's old piece of wood or something and it just scrapped then I can burn it or save it uh, and then of course anything garbage has to go to the dump and right in there I'm gonna show you guys here a few weeks ago there's a tin of buttons. Ah. 
So this here was a tin of buttons I'm assuming was would have been my great grandmother's. I've gone through that and I found some real hidden gems out here in this and there was a couple uh, things sitting on the shelf on the side there like an ashtray and that. Um, I'm going to show you guys some pictures I took of those, some pretty neat stuff, some military buttons and stuff like that. Okay, so I took some pictures of some of these things I found in that button jar, um, but the pictures were kind of fuzzy. So I'm going to see if I can get this webcam to focus on these. I'll show you guys what I what I saved. So starting with this is really cool. This is a Japanese ashtray. It says Japan right on the bottom. I thought this was really cool. It's really shiny. Uh, just a treasure I liked. So I've got these handful of things I found that I've been storing inside of this on my shelf up there. So uh, yeah, and I like the color of it. It's a uh, really pretty, like a turquoise or I guess it's turquoise. Beautiful little ashtray. I don't smoke anymore. I quit 16 years ago, but it's good enough to hold some treasures. So then I found this here. Now I'm going to have to work this uh, focus on this webcam to try and get this. So this is a police button and this is old, okay? And it's got the little shank on the back of it and everything. Uh, but my great grandfather's, I don't know, Uncle Jack, okay? We keep getting the voice Jack. Uncle Jack was a uh, police detective in uh, Hamilton. So the next button I found in that jar, my face is out of focus here, but that's because I want to show you this. So this is a military button. It says Canada on it, okay? The shank is actually missing off the back. But it's definitely a military button. It's got the little, like, crown at the top. So that's cool. Okay, so this one has the shank still on the back. And there's some writing on the back too and it says i don't remember because this was a while ago uh united something canada and then on the front it says something about it says canada at the top it's got the crown and then it says something about crossed swords kind of hard to hold steady there but it says canada it's got the maple leaf in the middle uh yeah the crown is on the top there. Oops, wrong way. Anyways, cool. And then there was some kind of Chinese coin. I have no idea what it says on it or what year it is. Show you the back. This here <laughs> just some uh, turquoise jewelry that probably was my grandma's. Nothing real expensive or anything, but he saved it all those years. My uncle did. And it's kind of pretty. Whose tin of buttons was that? Were those grandmas and Uncle Art saved them? That's what we're guessing. Also, that was a cool ashtray that I really liked the color of it. Uh, was that a fancy ashtray for back in the day? Probably the 70s. Thank 
So Uncle Eric was quite the smoker back in the day. Do you regret smoking while you were here on Earth? Okay, so 16 tools later, let's quit dicking around and we'll just cut them right off. Military buttons were those. that was in there. Who did that belong to? Is that a Chinese coin that's in there? Or just some kind of token that you got in school or something? Eh? All right, just a short session this morning. Thank you for coming through, spirits. Love, peace, joy, and adventure to you. Love, joy, peace, and adventure to you, viewers. We will catch you guys in the next video.